so I really wasn't sure whether or not I should make this video, um, if this would be helpful, or if I'm just gonna get destroyed in the comments. But level with me because the curiosity got the better of me, so let's find out. Now, what I'm talking about today is I've made the decision to go from a standard lubricant to waxing my bike chain, and I've gone with the Absolute Black Wax. They say it's a graphene wax. It's basically a paraffin wax with some kind of carbon, probably more like a graphite. Um, as an additive to it. So we'll see how that goes, but that's another video to see uh, how that performs. The reason that I'm going for wax primarily is because of the extended life. Since I've gone with GRX DI2, drivetrain components have become really expensive and having a wax that extends the life of those components, you know, despite being expensive for a wax versus a lubricant, actually makes a lot of sense in the long run. So we're gonna give that a go, see how that works. Now, the point that I think may go either way with this is that all of the videos and even the literature for these waxes says that you should use a crock pot to heat the wax. You know, a crock pot, you have an element and it kind of comes on and off and you set the temperature and it kind of fluctuates around it. When I looked at the temperatures that they want you to heat it to, it was right around that kind of 70 to 100 C range. And to me, that's just absolutely perfect to use a double boiler that means you don't need dedicated equipment to do this. And it's really easy to hold a steady temperature and also to stay on the upper end of the temperature in this case with that being able to keep the wax right at 100 Celsius um, very easily. So let's run through the process. I did try this once before and it did not go perfectly, but round two, I've done one upgrade and here's hoping that we have a little bit more success in this go. Okay, so first things up, we're going to basically fill a pot with water and just boil it. Now the wax that I've got, I put the wax into this bag and now this, as opposed to the first time I tried this, I just used any bag. I think I actually used the bag that my DI2 uh, manual or something came in, like it was just literally any plastic bag and I've done lots of you know, hot boiling water inside of some Glad bags and it hasn't really been a problem. But because the last one went so poorly, I decided to pick up this Glad silicone bag. And um, my hope is that this will be a lot more durable. And because it's silicone, it really shouldn't have any reaction with the wax itself, where the wax is hydrocarbon. Let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Everything's been heating for a while. You can see the wax in the bag. With the wax in the bag, we're gonna give it a little bit of a shake, make sure that we've got everything mixed in there. And look, this is kind of hot, but honestly, it's not that bad. So, get our wax all blended up, chain, make sure that we move the links. Bend the links, move the links. Then we can pull our chain out of the hot wax. And hang it to dry. And now what we've got is a bag with all of the wax that once it cools, it will harden. And the next time you need it, you just take the bag, throw it in the water, and you're good to go. So I'm really curious now, let me know in the comments whether you found this helpful or whether I'm making a horrible mistake and this is a terrible idea. Um, while you're headed to the comments, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button and also 
If you're not familiar with the benefits of waxing versus uh, more traditional lubrication, then I'll link to some great videos down in the video description where you can check those out. So thanks, bye.